Today we have a case when uh, originally on the upper jaw what we had is we had three implants. They weren't connected. Uh, we had a bridge with two implants and another implant with single crown. Later on the patient needed to extract a tooth. Uh, the tooth that you can see that uh, still does, didn't heal. It, it's just the root, right? No, it's not the root. It's the fibrous uh, tissue that closes the On the tooth. socket. Like, no, no, it's extracted. What you see is, is the fibrous tissue on the socket of the tooth. Uh, so what we decided to do is not having another implantation, but using those three implants, we can have a pontic in between those two implants. We have a anterior two implants and posterior one, and the middle we ha will have a molar that's, that's a pontic. On the upper jaw, on the lower jaw, we have two regular multi-units uh, on all the implants that we needed to make new crowns on top of them. So what we did is, first of all, uh, we removed the bridge, we placed multi-units, and we let the area to heal a little bit around the multi-unit with the healing caps on both of the upper and lower jaw. Later on, we took impressions with the scan abutments and intraoral scanner. Mm -hmm. You can see here that on the upper jaw, we have three implants with three multi-unit V-type on top of them, three, three scan abutments. And uh, the impressions were taken with intraoral scanner. On the lower jaw, we have here two implants with two scan abutments. This is the uh, temporary bridge. Yeah, this is the temporary bridge because we just extracted the tooth. We want to let the gingiva to heal a little bit, and we want to have good uh, healing of the gingiva. We want to have some emergence profile of the tooth and the, from the gingiva and like have an indentation in the gingiva for the tooth. In this step, it's not the best part to make a permanent restoration. Uh, maybe wait a little bit till the, the, the gingiva heals. Now, because we want to, we'll want to change the upper crowns. Because we're changing the upper crowns, we don't want to change the lower crowns also to make permanent. Right now, we'll leave it temporary the same as the upper ones. And later on, well, we, when we'll have a fully healed gingiva, then we'll change both of the we will scan bridges. again and... Yeah, we'll scan again because we want to know the design, the, the form of the gingiva, and we'll make both bridges from, uh, from the start. And from zirconia. Yeah, from zirconia or PFM or whatever you want. What we did here today is we extracted the tooth, we had from one side two implants and the other side one implant. And instead of making another implant, leaving the bridges, we took out the bridges and we made one new bridge that covers the gap that this tooth closed. So now we have, instead of a one bridge of two crowns and single crown, we have a bridge of four crowns on the upper jaw and we changed the, the lower jaw also. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow us to stay tuned up to date. Thank you and have a great day.